uh, we got the uh, director back and the cinematographer, so we're making a new video today. Uh, this is the Antonov 2 uh, Colt. Colt is the term the uh, NATO forces use to describe this plane. Um, biplane, obviously, uh, and as a biplane, you think of pre-World War II. This was actually built after World War II. Um, Russians were good at building planes that were very simple and they could mass produce them. And that's what they did with this thing. Uh, it was essentially the equivalent of, of a DC-3, maybe a little bit bigger load, and it was single engine. Um, but, uh, you know, just a standard transport plane. They could use it for uh, parachute operations as well as just carrying stuff. And um, uh, simple operation. They built a bunch of them. You still see them from time to time, I guess, uh, in Eastern Europe, but with new engines. Uh, and uh, yeah, the Vietnamese used this in the war. Uh, obviously we controlled the air pretty much, but uh, I wrote a book, I wrote this book uh, in 2017 about a particular battle that takes place in uh, Northern Laos. And uh, this airplane factored into it. And that's an interesting thing because this airplane didn't factor into the war much because it was so slow it could easily be shot down uh, but it was uh, it did actually kind of make the record books you could say in uh, uh, in this one particular battle anyway the book was called heavy green it's about a mission in uh, uh, North Vietnam and Laos and uh, if you want to learn more about this airplane it's in there a bunch of airplanes are in there too ones that we've covered in the past so um, yeah, landing gear was interesting on this thing. The most difficult part of the build, there's really, it's a straightforward plane, so it really wasn't that difficult to build, but um, it's always kind of hard getting the wings to uh, be the exact right height for the struts that go between a, a biplane's wings. Um, landing gear is always a little bit of something too, but um, it wasn't a real difficult uh, Lego build. For you. Good job, Boo. Thank you, Boo.